So in this example, we're going to look at the different types of bond rates. Um, the reason why we also want to know how to compute different kind of bond yields is to help us compare investments. So investments oftentimes are stated as returns rather than um, in dollar amount. So we want, we want to be able to compare investment regardless of how the information is presented to us, whether or not uh, the information is presented as um, the price of the bond today or whether the investment the information is presented as uh, yield maturity. So here we have a bond that has that we have the pricing information. So we know that the price of the bond today is currently selling at $932.90. It pays $35 in coupon payment every six months. So we know that this is a semi-annual bond. So this is important. It matures in 10 years, has a face value of $1,000. We are asked to find its coupon rate, its current yield, and yield to maturity. First, let's take a look at coupon rate. So not surprisingly, coupon rate will be related to coupon. We know that it's $35 every six months. So that means that you'll get $70 in coupon payment every year. So that, that's really relatively straightforward. So $35 times $2, two times per year is $70. Next, we want to remember what is coupon associated with. So coupon rate, so this is important. Coupon rate is always associated with face value. So when we compute the coupon rate, we take the $70 that we earn every six months, and we divide that by the face value. So the coupon rate is coupon rate divided by face value of uh, that give us 7% per year. So again, Coupon rate is always related to face value. Next, we're going to look at current yield. Unlike, unlike coupon rate, current yield is always associated with the price of the bond. So current yield is also based on coupon, but the denominator will be the price instead of the face value. So the current yield is the coupon, rate, the coupon payment. $70 divided by the price of the bond, and the price of the bond is $932. So we have a current yield of 7.5%. So remember that the current yield represents the income yield component of the bond. Lastly, we're going to compute the yield to maturity. The yield to maturity is um, the discount rate, remember. So we are trying to find a discount rate that we'll use to find this price. So since the U to maturity is the discount rate, finding the U to maturity is requires to, to use the financial calculator. So we are computing the discount rate. Now, the first, let's look at all the other information. We know that the coupon payment is $35. So $35 is the annuity coupon payment. The face value at maturity day is $1,000. This bond has 10 years left to maturity, but is a semi-annual bond. So we have 10 pay tries per year. So our N is 20. Lastly, we have the price of the bond. The price of the bond is $932.90, but we want to make sure that we enter that as an outflow. So we pay for the bond today, and in exchange, we'll receive the coupon payment and the face value. So both the, so the present value, the price of the bond is entered as an outflow. Both the coupon payment and the future value is entered as an inflow. As I said, we need a financial calculator to solve this problem. First, let us clear our financial register. So clear TVM. We have $35 is our coupon payment. So that's payment. $1,000 is our future value. Uh, 20 times, so 20 is our maturity. And then we need to enter this as an outflow. So we first type in $932.90. And we'll change the sign to a negative sign. And that becomes our present value. We are computing the interest rate. So we'll compute I. So I is 3.99%. But remember, this is every six months. So that's 3.99% every six months. So to find the yield to maturity, we need to multiply that by 2. 
So on a per year basis, it's 7.9869% per year. So our U2 maturity is about 7.99%. Now you know how to compute the different bond rates and also the U2 maturity associated with a bond. I want to talk a little bit more about U2 maturity. U2 maturity is, a, is an important concept because U2 maturity represents the return that you can expect to get if you pay $932.90 for this bond and receive all the promised payments. So you'll receive 20 payments of $35 each and a thousand dollar maturity. If that happens, then your return over the entire 10 years, the 20 payment, is going to be 7.99%. And that is why it's called U to maturity. Now, if you sell the bond before it matures, or if the company defaults and fails to pay to fulfill all its obligation, you will not earn 7.99%. You'll earn something different. Uh, there are other features of a bond that will affect that return as well. So U2 maturity is the most likely scenario if you buy a bond, the company follows through on its promise to pay, make all its coupon payment. You don't have any life circumstances that require you to sell the bond ahead of time. So everything goes as planned. Your return on this investment will be 7.99%. Okay, we'll end the video here and we'll continue with more examples and concepts of bond valuation.